Hoff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff. Okay, this technique that we're going to discuss now is smile. There's going to be many levels that we are going to talk about with smile, but the first is that certain sounds do not come out right without a smile, without your face muscles agreeing with the words you're speaking. Um, you've heard of enunciating and projecting your voice. And if you're an actor or a singer, you would over move your mouth to get the sounds. But smiling is key for the E sound and other sounds. Now listen to this. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Okay. Some cultures do not like to smile a lot. I also understand that if you talk to a large dog that's growling at you and you bare your teeth, that is a threatening <laughs> expression for dogs and bears and lions. So, <laughs> do not do this at home. Only under professional coach like me, only under my direction. But smiling is important to get the correct sounds. This also adds into more of the facial expressions that you should not practice always talking like this and not allowing your facial expressions to agree with the words that you're making. Another level is how you express English or any language. If it is a happy part, if it is a joyful part, and you deliver it like this, without a single agreement with your facial expression, you are confusing. The same way as if you talk real funny, so I can't understand. Your facial expression does not agree with the words you're saying. Believe it or not, your facial expression carries more of a message to someone else than your words alone. Okay. Unless you're saying two plus two is four. Maybe then, but for, for our purposes, facial expression is important. Smiling makes agreement with what your words say. The third level, and I think the most important one, your body is part of who you are. It is an important part. Your body is part of the total person, your body, mind, and your spirit, right? If you're smiling, you are actually going to be communicating to your brain and reduce, <laughs> releasing things that make you happy. A happy person learns better, a happy person speaks better, a happy person communicates better. So smiling, it sounds fluff, it sounds silly, and it's definitely not academic, dude. But smiling is a critical part of the techniques that we're going to work on with our karaoke English. Enough? Got the smile? Big smile. Big. Thank you. Bye-bye.